Today is April 16th, 2009. And we have decided to go on yet another chase. Could be busting. Could be busting. <clears throat> At this point, we have two storms that had initiated just south of Amarillo. Right before we left, first one initiated. They are holding it, they're, they're holding their own actually, so that means instability is not a problem there right now. It's right along the dry line. We've been slacking and not videotaping, but off of the panhandle we do have some action. The first cell that fired at one o'clock when we left, they kind of uh, convinced us to leave, has now become tornado warned and it's been raining on two of you, kind of in stationary position for a while now. So my hunch and our gamble has been confirmed. Uh, there is a reported tornado uh, just, east star, of Tulia. just east of Tulia. So we do have a confirmed tornado in that location. Um, cells to the, to the south are looking, uh, staying unicellular, having nice cur right curving shapes. Uh, be very interested to see how this evolves. We're uh, putting pedal to the metal here and hoping to get some gas in McLean and uh, pursue some of these storms. We'll see how all it goes about now. All of these time. All right, more updates here. Things looking even more interesting down near Lubbock. Possible uh, tornado yeah. watch being an issue down there. MD discussion. Tornado warning. Let's go discussion going right now. We have a tornado warning down headed right for Lubbock. Really strong rotation reported by storm spotters in the area. So um, that could produce a tornado at any moment. Um, we have the Truly SL as well as the South of the Southwest. The, uh, we are still very far from couple of, storm. A couple of just south of Tulia is looking better just now. Just got a new volume scan in. Um, our plan is to hit Claude and then drive south as quickly as possible. Um, hopefully catch this first cell. Lubbock is tremendously far away, so at this point we're just going to wait for these storms to ride north. Yep, yep. That's about that's about the plan we got right now. So back to driving. Think about that. All right, we have four. We have four tornado warnings right now. Um, the best supercell is just southeast of Lubbock. We are over here, east, east southeast of Chulia. We're trying to uh, beat these two supercells out ahead right now. Well, it is 6.15 p.m. We are for right. five hours. We're right here, we're heading to Crosbyton. We are finally gaining on our one supercell of interest. Uh, we had several others that have passed on to a better life. Um, but for us, we're gonna head to Crosbyton, hopefully go west to Rawls. Um, depending on how the cell behaves. It's still going. Yep, definitely have tornado sirens going off right now. Yeah, we are. That, that flag is very helpful. Yes, it is. So we're looking west, south, right west. out here. Yeah, it's like all that's frozen. Right yeah, around. Look right here. Our clouds and that. Yeah. Right in here somewhere. Yep. That's Somewhere it'll drop. That's dust. That's our info. That's info dust. Look at that vertical motion right above the RFD, rising above the RFD right there. That rise right here too. Cut. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. You seen right here? Yeah. So RFD's wrapping around right there. Updraft. Go Look how high that Look, you can even see the south side of the station. Yeah, there's rising. Alright, we just... During maneuver time! During maneuver time! We just passed the town of Spur, which is be straight south. right here. We are going to attempt to go to Jayton and round these two supercells. Uh, the one to the southwest is looking better. 
as this other one is completely shredded by rain, the inflow areas. The tornado warning right now is clearly issued for this one to the southwest. They just extended it down this way just as I'm talking. So gas might be an issue, so we're going to attempt to go to uh, make it a Jayton, fuel up, and intercept this storm just as it's getting dark. Well. Alright, we are heading southeast of Spur. Our plan is to head south, cut in front of this fort, <laughs> cut through the fort flank, and head down to this town of Claremont. That way that'll put us in position to see this storm. If uh, if the daylight holds. So this is the cell we dove south on. The one other one to the west has good better signal, but nothing's gonna happen with that one because we can't see it till after dark. <laughs> so uh, overall, good decision to chase today. Um, a little iffy, we were doubting ourselves, but things definitely kicked off. I mean, look what's going on here across the panhandle. Things are intense. We are right Lots here. Lots of unicellular activity. Yeah, uh, we had to give up. We got a little gas issue going on. We got the darkness coming in, so we're, we're calling, it, calling it an evening. But um, good decision to chase. Probably should have left about 45 minutes earlier if possible. It's hard to say, though, um, you know, based on how one cell firing kind of made us leave, and that's gonna happen later but things like just a little bit behind everything today marginal cases like this are hard for us to just pick up at 11 a.m. and say we're leaving yeah so a little earlier a little more efficient would have been good but I don't know what else we could have done better yep considering how marginal it was we can't just leave at 11 every time we have a chase yep. so yep and this is this is a good example of using another day in comparison to decide you're gonna chase and really going against the SPCA they, they really I think they actually kind of dropped the ball on this one. I don't think they really saw those things being this unicellular and this many tornado warnings. The fact that they had to start with a severe thunderstorm watch and then change it yep. to a tornado, tornado watch, watch halfway yep. through yep. shows so. that they're, they're basically under forecast. Yep. We do have some uh, some tornado reports. We'll go back and check those over. But um, overall, like I said, good chase day. Got some cool footage of rotating, uh, rotate low, the low level ro intense rotation. But um, no funnel clouds of tornadoes a day, but still a good time.